What is up, my YouTube family? How's it going, guys? We're back again with the one and only Takashi Six Nine slash Johnny Goble, guys. Give him a round of applause, guys. A round of applause. Anyways, Goble, what do you do with your life? You sit here and you talk about Deerdorf. You make videos about Deerdorf, about how Ryan Uptress has given him everything he ever wanted. Is that any of your business? Now you're back talking about how your life's in danger, Patty's life's in danger, and everybody else's life is in danger. Did you forget that you're the one that absolutely keeps running your mouth about all this stuff? Then you want to talk about death threats. Guys, if you anyone's sending anybody death threats, stop. That is uncalled for. We do not need that. You can't get in trouble for that, guys. So, with that being said, let's jump right into this video. Patty, Ronnie, uh, Ryan's sister, all these people that's getting harassed and, and stalked and, and cyberbullied online. They're coming from fucking Ryan Upchurch's people. They're, Ryan, they're, they're his people. And how do you know that these people is Ryan Up Church's people? Did you forget that you had people come to your house not too long ago, Dad Burn, and absolutely do a meet and greet? And then you blamed it on other people for them putting turkeys in the yard and vice versa. How do you come up with this shit? Where's your brain at, Gobble? Go jump in the trees, make make different videos. Now we're back on the same shit again. Does everybody see this? It is a thing with Gobble about going down the same road each every two or three months. He will go down the same road as he's going down right now. One of these times you're just gonna crash, Gobble. Meaning your your YouTube channel is just gonna be like. No one's going to trust you. Nobody trusts you right now, Gobble. Nobody. Anyways, guys, let's get right to the video. Hey, the kill shot, if you don't know, I've been going through this shit for over a year with Ryan Up Church. And you continue to run your mouth. Facts. I know you made him through true crime. That's when he went on there and uh, decided to say a girl wasn't real, a 16-year-old girl wasn't real and shit. This is pitiful, guys. This is pitiful. Pitiful. Gobble, so, you are pitiful. <clears throat> Susie, I'm taken care of. I mean, I got protection, but that, that like, the shit that I'm talking about is if he pays the police or if he does something like that and, and me end up going to jail and something happened to me inside the jail and them try to make it look like it was something else is what i'm saying it's happened here in this jail oh my god gobble do you not hear yourself go check yourself into a hospital gobble you think people are out to get you at all times this is the reason why you go down the same damn road over and over again. If I was a, to put together a montage of all this stuff, it would be hilarious. Because literally within two to three months, you go down the same thing, talk about the same thing over and over. You've not stopped talk, but talking about Ryan Upchurch forever. It's so all you, Psychobabble does, and everybody else. Just saying. Anyways, let's jump right to the video. It's happened before. It's probably happened in many jails. Patty is packing. Good for her. Gobble, my confusion is this. Where do you get in talking about people like you're involved with that circle where Ryan Upchurch won with the money 
where do you feel like you fit into this whole circle? Just because Patty Lynn did your uh, your your merch store, quote unquote. Yes, yeah, she designed it too. So do you want to talk about people doing stuff for people? There you went off on Deerdorf about what he owns, saying Ryan Upchurch bought everything he had. Just saying. You cannot make this shit up. You just can't. Anyways, guys, let's jump back to the video. But I tell you, I, I've got people that I've talked to and I've got people looking into shit. Um, friends of mine. Well, hopefully you find the truth, Gobble. I'm telling you, my intuition is always right. It's always right. I think you need to take some medicine. I really do. You're exactly right, Jake. You're exactly right. If he would do something like that to his mother, he would do it to anybody. And what did he do to he his mother? To anybody. Besides bust her windshield out of her car. That he bought. Should he have done it? No, he shouldn't have. But we all do things when we're pissed off that we don't mean to, correct? Look at you. Look at you, Gobble. Oh, you're right. You're still talking about the same shit. You haven't even bought a battery for that smoke detector in the background. Like at this point, like, I, I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't. I really don't. I just know that I just know that Ryan is up to something. Gobble, listen to me just for a second. Ryan of Church is a millionaire. He doesn't need your pity, your, your pitiful me. He doesn't need his mom's, oh, pitiful me. He don't need any of that stuff. It's called... Him tired of everything. That's the reason why he did what he did. Am I giving him any lead and excuses? I am not. I'm not. But whenever you start putting names on houses and stuff, the mom and them just go away. Like, they're nobody. To Ryan up church. The same way it would be me. Want nothing to do with anybody. But do you see what you're just doing here, Gobble? You're sitting here and you're digging a hole. And you're putting the dirt right next to the hole. And you're going to fall in that hole. You already have. You just want to make another $10,000 on your YouTube channel like you did two years ago, Gobble. Whenever you went ahead and lied to everybody about the, your, your, your attorneys that you hired and then you used the money for other things and say that you fired your attorney. That was like two years ago, Bible, wasn't it? Just saying. Anyways, guys, let's jump right to the video. But I'm probably going to be uh, for real this time. I'll probably be off of YouTube for a little while. Why? Paul, no, he's, he's coming after me for vengeance. I'm telling you, Paul, you can say what you want to in court. I'm not fucking scared of court. I'm not scared of that dude in court. That ain't what I'm worried about. If people wanted you, they would... That dude needs to worry about, you know, he's, he's, he's out here doing some fucking dumb got you. shit. And getting away with the shit. You have schizophrenia. And you don't want to keep on supporting this guy. Because you uh, you idolize this guy. Gobble, do you remember the picture that you drew for Ryan Upchurch a long time ago? And you absolutely wanted to hand it to Ryan Upchurch. What happened to that Gobble? Where did that gobble go? I can tell you. You got $10,000 off of 
do nothing but talking shit about Ryan Upchurch on a YouTube channel three years ago, and you're trying to do that again. And you're still gaining subscribers. You're still gaining views. People's here to see the train wreck. That's what they want to see. Anyways, guys, I'm actually going to stop it here. He goes on forward and he absolutely says his life's in danger. So is Patty Lynn's, guys. This is absolutely nonsense. This guy has a mental disability, uh, schizophrenia, or whatever else you want to call it, guys. Gobble. Give him life. Anyways, your boy Deuces. I'm out. Have a good one. Love you guys.